As we age, our ability to generate cellular energy diminishes. This isn't just a problem that causes fatigue. It also leads to cellular damage that predisposes us to the killer diseases of aging, including cancer and dementia. Fortunately, there is a nutrient that's naturally produced in our bodies that can help support our cellular energy levels. With us today is Bill Falloon of the Life Extension Foundation, the largest organization dedicated to investigating anti-aging therapies, health, and nutrition since 1980. Bill, tell us why it's important to supplement with coenzyme Q10 as we age. Coenzyme Q10 is a critical component involved in cellular energy production. Young people naturally make lots of coenzyme Q10 in their bodies, but as they age past 30, CoQ10 levels decline in certain tissues by as much as 83%. What happens when we don't have enough CoQ10? The tragic result is that many elderly people unknowingly suffer a coenzyme Q10 deficiency, and the result is that cells in their brain, heart, and other vital organs lose the ability to produce enough energy to keep them alive. The chart on your screen shows the sharp decline that occurs in CoQ10 levels in tissues throughout the body. These declines are rather astounding. CoQ10 is a supplement that many of my viewers may be quite familiar with and something I personally use every day. But am I right in saying that there are different forms of CoQ10 that are available today? And if so, what's the difference? Yes, there are different forms. When it comes to commercial CoQ10 supplements, most of them work the same in younger people. As we grow older, however, not only do we lose our natural ability to make CoQ10 within our bodies, but we are also less able to absorb it from the CoQ10 supplements we take. So how do we know that older people need this better absorbed form of CoQ10? A fascinating study done on congestive heart failure patients showed that commercial CoQ10 supplements were not absorbed into the bloodstream enough to reverse degeneration of the heart muscle. When a novel form of CoQ10 was substituted, blood levels of coenzyme Q10 surged almost threefold, and the result was an 88% increase in a test that measures the heart's pumping efficacy. That's very interesting. Did these congestive heart failure patients get better? Cardiac patients given this novel form of CoQ10 showed remarkable symptomatic improvement and likely would have died had they not gained access to this better absorbed form of CoQ10. That's definitely impressive, Bill. But why should our viewers who are generally healthy take CoQ10? Aging people should not wait until diseases set in before restoring their natural coenzyme Q10 to youthful levels. Maturing individuals need to take the proper dose in the proper form of CoQ10 to ensure it absorbs sufficiently into their bloodstream to protect their cells against lethal energy depletion. Does getting enough CoQ10 actually make people feel less fatigued and more energetic? Yes, it can. A side benefit to boosting blood CoQ10 to youthful ranges is that there is usually a noticeable reduction in fatigue. In fact, one laboratory study showed this superior absorbing form of CoQ10 reduced fatigue 90% more effectively than commercial CoQ10 supplements. It also slowed aging in middle-aged mice 40% better than commercial CoQ10. This is so crucial. How can people learn more about how to restore youthful cellular energy output? There are several nutrients in addition to the proper form of CoQ10 that aging people should take. We are sending a free report that describes the most efficient methods to restore youthful energy to our aging cells. This report describes the consequences of cellular energy depletion in aging humans and how easily this can be corrected. I highly recommend people request this free report so they can protect themselves against the deadly process of cellular energy depletion. This is such valuable information. Thank you, Bill. To learn more about this vital information, join My Select Health Club. Go to lifeextension.com.